It feels weird today. I think it's because I parted my hair this way. I've been wearing it in the middle or that way. Anyway, hi. I'm not naked, I promise. <laughs> I have this tiny little, this is actually a tank top that I got off of Amazon, which is a dupe for the Lululemon ones. Um, so it's not a favorite, but I wear it all the time. So maybe it is a favorite. Um, if you're interested, I can link it below. Let me know. Anyway, hi, <laughs> welcome back. My name is Dana, if you did not know. And today we are doing the July favorites. I have been loving doing favorites. I think this is only the second, maybe third month that I've been doing them, but I, I find it is just super helpful to see what I've been liking, what I actually have been putting on my face, wearing, those kinds of things. And so I hope you guys have been liking it as well. So with that said, if you are liking it so far, if you will be liking it throughout the video, if you like it at the end, please do give this video a big like. It helps my channel so much and I am a micro micro channel and that always helps. Also, if you are not subscribed already, please do so. <laughs> please do so below. I feel like a teacher, but yeah, you can do that if you want. I don't, I don't really care if you don't. <laughs> anyway, today I thought for the favorites because I actually need to get ready, I would put them on my face the ones that I can or, you know, that kind of thing and talk through them and then we will get into it, I guess. So fun Dana fact of the day is I am kind of getting a cold. I saw my niece and nephew two weekends ago and I think one of them had a cold. So this is the first cold I've had since hmm, February 2020. So this is a Trader Joe's Mighty C Acerola Cherry Juice Shot. I'm trying it for the first time. So let's see. Yeah, it's tart, but not bad. Yeah, this is not bad. I don't know. Whoa, it just hit my throat where it's sore. So I thought I could talk through some things while I put on one of my f new favorites. This is the Wonder Beauty Baggage Claim Eye Mask. And I got the color Rose Gold, which makes no difference. Like you can get gold or rose gold, but I decided to get rose gold. Um, gotta get my... Also, this mirror, by the way, it's very dirty. I should wash it or clean it. This was my grandmother's. Um, it's I've broken it before. It was like re-glued here. This I know it's so dirty. I'm sorry. Um, so if you ever see it, it was my grandmother's. <laughs> I, I seriously can't see myself in it though. I really, I'm going to clean it after this video. Okay. So these are, like I said, the eye masks and I, the reason that I like them, there's only one reason. The reason is because they are so thin and you can put them like right up against your eye, especially like the driest part of my eye are right here, the inner corners. And with most masks, they're too heavy or too like thick, I guess, that you can't put them there. Um, so I like that because they are just the thinnest and they kind of move with your body but I don't necessarily think that the ingredients in them are so, so, so spectacular that like they change my eye. It's just kind of a nice thing. Um, and then I guess the only other issue, which I still really like them, like these, if I'm gonna buy an eye mask that actually like I care about, I'm gonna buy these, but I hate that they're so expensive and you get, I think six or five in a pack. Like I will go through these, I could go through that in a week, <laughs> but if you are somebody who wants to indulge and you want something that you can actually, I'm sorry, I'm just like getting the leftover <laughs> parts. You do that too. Don't lie. Uh, yeah. What I was saying is if you, if this is important to you, like for me, I can't use anything that's thicker. So this is important. That's why I get them. And yeah, we're going to leave them on for now while I talk through a few other things. Okay, next up is a perfume. You guys, I think it was my first favorite videos. I told you that I had this sample of, what is this, Santal 33 from Le Labo, and how it just really evoked memories of my grandmother, and for that, I just, like, sparingly use it, and I can't afford the real one, because the real one's like 150 or $200. It's something ridiculous, but I have found a dupe, and that dupe is the dossier. This was a gift from the company. This is the Woody Sandalwood. So dossier reached out and asked if I wanted to try one of them. And I like immediately before even looking at their website, I was like, yes, I want a dupe for Santal 33. If they have it, 
I'm there a hundred percent. Like I love that scent and they did. So a little bit about the brand. They reproduce classic high-end luxury perfumes and they do it at a fraction of the cost. So normally, like I was saying, I forget the price of the um, Santal 33. It's, it's up there. I Honestly, it's like 150 for maybe like a small little bottle. And this was, I think, $49 or $39. They all start at about $29 and they go up to $49. So you're really like you're getting it for, I don't know, a third, a fourth, a fifth of the price of the normal like high-end ones. They also have this system where when you buy it, you don't have to actually, if you don't like the scent, because that's a big thing in scents. Like when you're buying online, it sucks. Like I don't know, I might not like it. So basically they send you a little sample and if you don't like it, you just send back the regular bottle, don't open it, and then you get your money back or you get to try a different one. Which for me, that's such a smart idea because again, how do you buy a scent online? It's impossible. And so what I did the other day was I have my little Santal 33. <laughs> Look at this. Like. I like sparingly use it. I use it once a week or once every other week. And I sprayed it on this wrist and then I sprayed the dossier on the other wrist. And I was like, <laughs> and they are, I would say like 95 to 99% the same, but no one would know if they weren't smelling your wrist at the exact same time. And the other day we were actually in a restaurant and the woman working there, she had her mask on and she was ringing us up. She was at the counter and she was like, who, who here smells like sandalwood? And I was like, me and my husband he was like how did she smell that through the mask and I was like well, I don't know maybe I doused myself in it anyway I'm going on and on I clearly love it I've already used quite a bit of it and I am going to be repurchasing because I already found another one from Chanel that I love and yeah huge favorite for me Oh, I guess I should mention, I also have a discount code for it. So if you do want to try it out, it's Dana R10 and you get 10% off. They also do bundles. So you can do one and then every time you add like a second or a third, you get more and more off. So that's always a good way. And then you can test them, see if you like them, send them back if you don't. I'm very excited that I have found this brand and I will be repurchasing different scents for a long time. Also, you're supposed to leave these on for, I think like 10, 15 minutes. So we'll keep going, I suppose, and I will talk through some skincare. So I'm not gonna be putting this one on because this is more like an overnight mask or just like a 10 minute mask, another eye mask. <laughs> this is Verse The Fix Emergency Eye Mask. And I saw it online. They don't carry it in Target and they don't carry it. Like it was harder to get, but I went out of my way to get it. Also Verse, come on, shipping. It took like 10 days for me to get this. Like that's insane. I have a company and it takes me less time to ship things out. But that said, I really like it. It is a thicker, like more occlusive eye mask, which if you are somebody who struggles with dry under eyes, you understand the struggle. You don't want something that just soaks in because then five minutes later you need more. So for me, I know it says like a 10 minute mask, but I put this on at night and I just sleep in it and I find that it just hydrates my eyes overnight because it is occlusive. It's not gonna be sinking in too much. Like think of like petroleum jelly. It sits on your skin and it locks everything else in. That is, I mean, not that I'm saying that this is petroleum jelly, but it's in the same vein. So liking it so far. Okay, another skincare one, which I may put on. This is Beauty Pie. You guys have probably started hearing about it because I feel like it's just like picking up steam everywhere. This is a brand where you basically, you subscribe, you get a subscription service. I think the first one is $10 a month and then it goes up. And then how it works is you get a, like a limit, a spending limit. So I have the just the basic one because I wanted to try it out and I pay $10 a month, which to me, I'm like, that's like two coffees at Starbucks. Like I can afford that. And then I have $200 or maybe it's $150 spending limit. And what they do is like a product like this, where this, they say it, as like a luxury serum would cost you $80, say. Then your limit is like, this is $80 of the 200. And then you get to go up to that $200 each month. I'm probably not explaining this as succinctly as possible, but this cost me, I don't know, I'm just making up numbers at this point. This costs say $15 to me, but it normally would cost $80. So my spending limit is not the 15, it's the 80. So I could buy this and then I could buy another $80 one and that would be 160 and then I would find something else for 40. But I'm actually paying probably like $40, if that makes sense. 
It's a little complicated, but I so far I, I'm really intrigued by it and I am going to continue to do it. So this is one of the ones that I got them from it. And this is called the Super Healthy Skin Daily Vitamin Defense Serum with Biometric Youth Peptide Super Oxy and Raspberry Stem Cells. Sounds fancy. I like it. And I haven't obviously like I've not used it for more than, I don't know, a few weeks. Um, so with skincare, it's really hard to tell if it's working, but I just like the way that it feels on my skin and I like anything with peptides and I'm starting, honestly guys, I'm starting to get into vitamin C, which I know for so long I didn't use it, but I am liking it. Okay, so I'm going to take the mask off. It's been about 10 minutes and we will see. Yeah, so these are our favorite, but I'm gonna be completely honest with you. It's a luxury product because you go through them so quickly and they cost a lot, but um, I do enjoy them and I just rub in the excess, but I'm not gonna lie to you and say like, this is the best deal. It's not. You guys know I'm a kind of a sunscreen channel, so I had to come out with the sunscreens. And of course, this, these are probably more than anything else, but I use a lot of sunscreen, so it felt fitting. And I will try to go through them pretty briefly. Um, I have videos on most of them and some are coming out. So if this goes up before some of them, just know that the rest are coming up. So I'll go in order of kind of like um, organic, which is chemical. I'm gonna start calling it organic because it's a proper term, but just know I'll say organic or chemical and then inorganic or mineral. So I'll go organic to inorganic. First one we have is the Paula's Choice Clear Ultra Light Daily Hydrating Fluid, Broad Spectrum SPF 30 plus. This is mainly for oily or like blemish or acne prone skin. While I don't have acne or blemishes really, I in the summer I need something that is a little bit more lightweight and geared and geared toward oily skin. This is just super fluid, like the name would suggest. It's similar to the other um, hydrating like liquid. I don't know, light one. <laughs> I will put a picture above to the one it looks like. Um, and I tried that and I loved it, so I wanted to try this as well. I would say if you do have acne prone skin, this would be a good bet. The other one that would also be good is kind of on the range of, this is both inorganic and organic, which means it has chemical and mineral filters. This is the um, Zit Sticka Mega Shade. And this is actually SPF 50, which I really enjoy. And they're both very fluid. This one is easier to get out just because it's just, you know, like a, I don't want it to come out, but it comes out like that. Whereas the Zit Sticka, which I, I have a review coming on this one. This one is a dropper bottle and that can be problematic because I think people probably don't get enough of it when they're using it, but it also helps with the, the texture and the like consistency of it. And I think that actually is one of the best things for more like minerally inorganic sunscreens. Both of these I would suggest if you have acne or oily prone skin, if you really are dealing with the excessive amount of oil and like sebum, I would suggest this over this. If you're dealing more with acne, I would suggest this. This actually has some ingredients in it that are gonna be fighting your acne. So those are two options out there for you. I also have another one that is for kind of acne or oily prone skin. And I guess I'm gravitating to all of these types because it is the summer and it's just so hot and humid here. And so that's kind of what I want. But I'm also very excited to see all these brands coming out with products geared more toward oily skin because it's a huge, part of the population and I feel like they've kind of missed out on that for a while. And so this one you will have already seen the review on. If you have not already watched it, I will link it above. This is the Hero Cosmetics Force Shield. This is a all inorganic or mineral sunscreen and it comes out with a green tint. It's very nice. I enjoy it a lot for a mineral sunscreen. The thing about this is it's going to be kind of with the Paula's Choice in terms of like dry down and setting. So if you have dry skin, I would not suggest either of these, but if you have more oily skin, both of these are going to leave you with a more matte finish, which is nice. And last up on sunscreens, I know there are a lot. <laughs> I reviewed this a while back. I will link that video here. This is one of the highest and one of the most expensive ones I have. I also really, really like it. So this is the Dr. Brandt Liquid Sun Shield. It's 100% inorganic or mineral. And again, it's got the dropper bottle, which kind of proves to be problematic, but I don't think it's that hard if you are actually applying enough. Just go in with more, do thin, small layers, like I always say. And that's actually the one I'm gonna be putting on my face today. So 
I'm going to do that. I'm not going to talk through it because otherwise this video will be hours long. I would say it's the middle of the road finish. It's not too drying, not too dewy, and it is just one of the best inorganic mineral sunscreens that I have found that doesn't have any tint. No green, no dark, no this, that, or whatever. Um, it's just expensive. So see, when I talk about small, thin layers, that's what I mean. I don't mean like a whole finger's length. Just do it like that and you will have much less of an issue. Okay, I just got sucked down an Instagram rabbit hole and almost started commenting on people's misinformation sunscreen posts. So then I was like, what am I doing? I'm filming a video right now. So back to it. <laughs> Okay, so this has clearly had about five or ten minutes to sink in, maybe more, because that rabbit hole got very deep. And this is the cast. There is a cast. No lie, like, it's going to have a cast. It's not tinted. And I think it's one of the better ones, which is why I enjoy using it. I also enjoy using it on no makeup days, um, which is not today, but I wanted to show you guys. And yeah, I think it's just a really stellar one if you are willing to pay the exorbitant amount of money. <laughs> Now, speaking of another thing that if you are willing to pay an exorbitant amount of money, which is apparently me, I have, ooh, this is my first truly luxury product, like from Chanel, Gucci, those types of brands, and damn it, it's so good. This is not new, by the way. This is the Le Beige Water Fresh Tint, and it just sounded so perfect for me because I love, like, no makeup makeup, something that just looks like your skin but better. And especially when I have like kind of a cast on my face, I want something to level it out and get it more like to my skin or my body. And this sadly is wonderful. So I apply it with a brush. Um, I don't like applying it with my hands, which is actually interesting. I just feel like the water, these, there are these really interesting little droplets. Let me see. I don't want to waste any. Um, it's hard to tell, but they have like these little balls in them and then once you break them open you get more of the pigment so it's really hard to demonstrate and it's gonna there well it, I could see it on my hand but you actually get a lot more pigment once you break them open I just don't like doing it with my hands um, today I'm gonna apply it just bare just this nothing else but when I want maybe more coverage or a different type of coverage I do a few things so any one of these will work this I really enjoy. I use it under, I kind of mix it. Actually, I put like a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter on the high points, and then I put the Chanel on the brush and then blend them all together. That's a nice one. I also do MAC Face and Body, of course, my favorite. Um, Fenty Ease Drops if I want it to be a little bit more matte. And then if I want the lightest coverage, but still a little bit more coverage, I do the Glossier Skin Perfecting Tint. These are kind of my average, my everyday ones that I like always have on my desk. And I just use them kind of depending on what I want. Today, I don't want much. So I put it onto the brush. This is It Cosmetics brush, by the way. And then just start blending out. Starting in the middle of my face and going outward. That's it. It's so quick and easy, but look at that. Like, ah, I'm doing this because I have an itch right there, not because I want to blend it out. Um, I don't know. I just feel like from when you saw me before with the mineral, like slight cast till now, it just looks natural. Like this just looks like my skin. And I cannot stand that it is, I don't even want to know the price. Like I forgot, I ordered it. I forgot the price. I'm not going to go look because it'll just upset me. I've already used quite a bit too. It started down here and now it's up here. I don't know what I'm going to do when I run down. Okay. Next up, I don't think I'm going to use this today just because this has given me kind of like a, a little bit of a tint. Oh, and I forgot to mention. Yes, Chanel has a terrible shade range. These types of brands, unfortunately, luxury brands just kind of cater to the people that they want to cater to and not anybody else. I think with the fresh, the, the water tint, they might have a little bit of a larger shade range, but they did come out with a blush that's similar. And it's, it's like, I don't even know if I could use it on my skin tone. So I'm sure people with darker skin tones, it's just going to be nothing. So I did want to mention that. But the next thing is the Vive Modern Bronzer 
Oh, look at this beautiful thing. I'm not going to be putting it on today just because I'm really going for like no makeup today. Um, I'm going to be working out soon and I just don't need it. But if I reach for a powder bronzer, this is definitely it. It comes with two different shades and I honestly, at first, I was just using the lighter one and kind of trying to contour even though I don't really with the darker. But now I've decided I just like mixing them so I'll like press into both and then powder. It's just beautiful. It's just stunning. Um, I might put a little on my eyes so we'll see if I do that. Okay, I am going to use it. Um, I actually put a little bit of the eye wand in camel, I believe. No, sand. Um, that's kind of a base for me pretty much all the time. Or I use concealer, but... And I fe featured that in a different video. Um, so, yep. I'm just going to do a wash of color. It's not going to... Ow! I just poked myself in the eye. It's not going to be anything. Like, it's just going to look like my eye. That's it. Vive, Jamie Genevieve, she's a YouTuber, if you didn't know, or Instagram person. She just makes really, really, really great makeup, and I highly encourage you to try it out if you've not. Even in the U.S., she makes it really easy to get it, so that's not... I like that. My two favorites have not really changed. For every day when I just want to, like, run out of the house, I don't need any other makeup, that kind of thing, I use the Maybelline Sky High. For days that I put on more makeup or I need it to last longer, I use the Blink Ultra Volume. So those are kind of the two that I use. Today I am experimenting, not really experimenting, but I try to use up the ones that I have open. So I'm going to be using the Kevin Aquan. Not a favorite. Oh, just a good mascara though. Done. Simple. This is like an everyday look. Sometimes I'll put a little bit of blush on, sometimes I won't. When I use these kind of like bronzing things like the Chanel, I don't tend to need a lot of bronzer, um, but I still love, love, love the Vive one. And my last product, which is hair. And I don't always have a hair product because honestly, I could care less about my hair. It's like an afterthought for me. My face is the most important part, which sounds very uh, conceited. <laughs> but I found this in my collection I just had, I think my mom gave it to me. She got it given this as like her, where she works, where she volunteers. They got this from a local hairstylist and she gave it to me. This is the BB or Bumble and Bumble BB Curl Style, pre-style, restyle primer. I use it as a restyler for when I wear my hair naturally. Um, it's My hair naturally is curly. I do have a keratin treatment, is that what it's called? Yeah. And so it's a little bit more straight right now, but if I just let it air dry, the ends will be curlier. And then, so like I'll sleep on it and the next day I refresh it with this. It smells amazing. It's, that's part of it. I had this other super expensive curl one and I wanted to puke every time I put it on my hair. It was so strong, it was so terrible. This smells wonderful. It does a great job of restyling it and it doesn't ever feel like it dries my curls out. So I highly recommend it. It's also huge. This is 8.5 fluid ounces. So it's expensive for like Bumble and Bumble is expensive, but it'll last me for so long and I feel like I'm definitely getting my money's worth. So if you have curly hair, this is one thing I would recommend. I'm not an uh, expert on curly hair, clearly, since I don't wear it curly that often, but I've been loving that this month. So guys, that's it. I think it's, I don't know, more skincare sunscreen related this time. A few bits and bobs of makeup. I just don't wear a ton of makeup in the summer. It's so hot. I'm not really going anywhere either. Um, but I just, I don't know, I've been keeping it more simple lately. And yeah, you, it's kind of the same, like a little bit of Vive and a little bit of, you know, Mac or Chanel. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're still watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye!